Hello, this is me Cameron Daniels and this is me doing another trailer reaction. Uh, this time it's going to be for um, a film called Churchill, which I did know was coming out, but I have no idea who was in it. Um, yeah, um, all I do know about it's about Churchill. He's one of the greatest people, one of the greatest British people of all time, probably one of the greatest per people ever. Um, so let's have a look. We defy Hitler. It is time to win this great war. For five long years, we have asked our men to endure the tribulations of war. General Eisenhower. Winston. General Montgomery. Mr. Churchill. What a gathering. If Hitler were to drop a bomb on this little patch, he would destroy the entire high Is that command Brian of Cox? Allied forces. We are here to make the greatest decision of our lives. The invasion of France, taking the German army head on. I've seen this before. A quarter of a million men were cut down at Gallipoli. We must spread the risk. The plans for D-Day have been in place for over a month. I don't want to make the same mistake. The forces are not carrying out your plans. We're taking care of it. You need to let us do the job. I beg your pardon. I am the Prime Minister of this country, and I shall not be stopped from speaking my mind. Yeah, well said, Mel. Well said. You can't just change everything over the heads of our allies. Don't assume you're the only one capable of making decisions. I need your help. Try acting like a hero, Winston, and then maybe people will believe that you are one. Men will die. That's enough! My fiancé is on one of those ships. I'm sorry. I have no right. You have every right. He's not the man he was. He could be a liability as a leader. Would you have us do nothing when the Nazis what, massing what 20 come? miles off our shores? No! I would have us do more! This magnificent effort of air, land, and sea. We must launch now. He has to address the nation tomorrow. Either to tell them we're winning the war or we've just killed thousands of people. Whatever happens, we must give them I agree with that. When it's all over, what will I be? You will always be the man who led us through this. Our troops will fight on, and we shall never surrender. Whew. Right, let's get rid of that. Oh, right, okay. So it's basically a period drama about Churchill behind the scenes going to Dida. Um, what else can you say other than that? Uh, I'm sure, apart from the Churchill bit and behind the scenes with Churchill, it's been done to death. Uh, Brian Cox is the lead actor playing Churchill. Um, yeah, um, it looks alright. It looks like yet another. What it looks like to me is yet another British film about the war, or in a period that's not known. And it really, really gripes me. Why can't this country make decent... No, that's wrong. Not decent films, that's the wrong word. We do make decent films. We make thought-provoking films. We make period films that are better than anybody else's. But we don't make fucking action films. And we don't make lots of money out of them. What the fuck is going on with this country? Why can't we provide some funding and somebody make an action film that's going to be global? Yes, we we make action, we do make action films. We make them at Pinewood and other UK studios. I mean, for fuck's sake, we 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 make James Bond, we make Star Wars here, etc. etc. We made the Last Avengers film here, but we don't make any air cells with their own money. Come on, British film industry, do something about it. What the fuck is going on? Why do we have to make period dramas for everybody? It so, so winds me up. Yes, we haven't got the studio money that Hollywood has got, but fuck me. Why can't somebody put the money where the mouth is and make some decent movies? Other than period. That is me off my chest. Motherfuckers. If you like the video, give it a like. If you didn't, fuck off, because nobody really cares about me anyway. And even better still, subscribe. Why not? What have you got to lose? Bye.